During colder weather, older people are especially at risk. These risks can come from every direction, from the cold, from fires, from gas leaks and carbon monoxide poisoning. As they become more unwell, they're likely to collapse. Unless they get help in time, they are likely to die. We wouldn't neglect them like this on our streets. So why do we neglect them in their homes? Uh, Florence was my cousin and she was in her 91st year when she died. A horrific, preventable death. Christmas Day, we were taking her for a meal at my daughter's and she said she didn't feel well. I offered to get the doctor and she said, oh no, no, there's an announcement on the television and it says not to bother doctors, hospitals, ambulance. When she fell, I don't know whether it was the halogen heater or the two-bar electric fire, but she knocked herself out and, uh, and that was it. And I could not believe it. Florence was black as these trousers from her arm to her fingertips. She had a clothes burned off her, right down one side, this side and the back. Right down, she was black right down to her, finger, her toenails. So she must have been lying there all night and she died a week later. Older people, especially those over the age of 75, who are isolated, socially deprived and ill, are at especially high risk of dying in cold weather. Certain drugs, especially sedatives and alcohol, can further impair the body's ability to regulate temperature and also they can increase the risk of accidental exposure to cold environments. Patients with um, heart disease, uh, who've had strokes, who suffer from dementia, uremia, diabetes, are all at particular risk. Cold also reduces the effectiveness with which people can clear their chest, and all of these changes combine to increase the risk of aspiration and pneumonia. Patients with arthritis may, in cold weather, experience increased joint pain and inflammation. They may have increased difficulty in gripping walking aids and hence increased risk of falls. Cold temperatures result in increased blood pressure, the blood becomes more concentrated and it becomes thicker and these changes combine to increase the risk of heart attacks and strokes and these are the principal reasons for the excess of winter deaths in elderly people. It's the responsibility of all professionals and community workers to assess these risks. I'm Tommy, a gas safe registered engineer. Always check the badge and especially the date on the badge. It also on, on the reverse side of all the appliances that I can work on. Many occasions I've been asked by the occupational therapist to fit an isolation switch on the cooker to prevent the vulnerable person from turning the gases on without igniting them. You can fit an isolation switch out of sight from a vulnerable person so they can't see it. If your father does come downstairs because the bedroom, um, the living room is now classed as a bedroom, there's certain things that aren't allowed and say that this gas fire would not be safe as a bedroom heater because it's going to emit carbon monoxide and that's a silent killer. Um, when your father's asleep he won't have any knowledge that he's actually getting poisoned. It can cause dizziness, um, nausea, it can cause headaches and it can cause redness of the face and also you could collapse before you even reach the door. Oh yeah, there was one time I was out, I went out shopping or something, can't remember exactly, but when I came home I couldn't get into the door because my mum had left the door on a lock. So I went to the window to knock and I found it on the floor. So I managed to force my way into the house came into the living room which had the door closed and the heat in the room was intense. Um, managed to get my mum up and took her out into a cooler room and switched the fire off. At first I thought it was just overcome by heat. Later on I found out it wasn't heat, it was carbon monoxide. You know, because you can't smell it, you can't sense it, you just don't know. 
We were advised about it that it should be checked at least every three years. Any gas heater or gas appliance should be checked every three years. Ours hadn't been touched for 30 years and it was condemned straight away. The only problem with the gas cooker was the fact that my mum suffers from Alzheimer's and uh, she could be putting something on to reheat. Let's say she puts a coffee percolator on because she's an Italian lady. She likes Italian coffee. She'll come in, sit down, watch television, and that's it. She'll forget all about it. There's many a time I've smelt the burning of coffee, come down and found the coffee percolator with the handle melt melted off, and the thing ready to either explode or go in flame. Up to now, we've gone through 20 coffee percolators. Now, all these things I didn't know what to do about until the OT came in, and they pointed out these things to me, and straight away they sent people out to check the fires, to help out with the uh, isolation switches, anything we needed to help a person, basically, to stay safe. Obviously, I went to visit John in his property on a few occasions, and I was quite surprised when I come out. I couldn't believe that someone was living in the conditions that John was let living in. Rat droppings everywhere, uh, rubbish. There was carbon monoxide, there was seven gas leaks, it, it was open to us and in that week it was set on fire and burned down. If John had been there, um, he'd have been dead today, he wouldn't have been alive. The occupational therapist has got him a bungalow and this is the bungalow today and I'm glad that he's like, you know, he's got warm, he's got people looking after him, um, he's got monitors to keep him safe. Um, you can sleep at night when I go home, I actually sleep knowing John's safe now. Britain has one of the highest excess winter death rates in Europe. We are not the coldest country, nor do we have the harshest winter, but more people die during the winter months in Britain than they do in Siberia. We can no longer leave those in need in the cold. Don't let someone in your community be dying to keep warm this winter.